All right, howdy howdy guys. Welcome to the roguing video. This is one of my favorite videos by far already. I covered a ton of information with the clips that I got today. Um, explained a little bit behind like pea varieties and how they differ in leaf type and color. So you guys will get to see that firsthand. I'll just go over real quick what roguing is, why we do it, and how they get there. So a rogue, it's spelled R-O-G-U-E, um, is a off type. So it's basically an anomaly that gets into the varieties that are meant to be there. Um, so we take out the rogues and then um, we take them out because if you leave the rogue in the variety, then it's going to produce more seed that's an undesirable variety within the variety. So it's just gonna produce more plants like that. It's gonna make it more of a hassle to take out later. You're gonna have to rogue more down the road. Um, we get rogues in our varieties through mechanical errors like equipment. Um, if it gets stuck in the equipment during harvest or during planting, that causes a big issue. Um, birds can pick up the pods during harvest and drop them in a different variety. Um, they can blow into the other variety. I'll show you guys how we try to prevent that. And um, there's just a lot of different places during the seeds uh, from start to finish that the seed can get messed up. So we do our best to take the rogues out and you guys will get to see a lot of things covered in the next couple videos. So hopefully you learned something and um, we'll see you at the end of this. You can hear this, it's kind of windy, but I'll just show you what a rogue looks like in the row. Um, so when I like reach down and pull out automatically when I see it and hopefully you can see the difference on camera. All right, so I am currently roguing a standard leaf variety. So this has the leaflet pairs on it through the tendrils. And then this one, if you can see it, is a semi-leaf type. It has no leaflet pairs on these tendrils right here. So you can see the difference right there. That is a standard leaf and that is a semi-leaf. So we're gonna pull this one out because if it creates any pods and the pods create seed, they go into um, storage with the seed type the variety. <clears throat> it's gonna create even more rogues. So there is a comparison. You can see the leaflet pairs, no leaflet pairs, and these are more tenderly on the ends comparative to these ones. So a rogue is just an off-type that is found in the variety. It doesn't always have to be this kind of off-type. There can be um, multi-leaf. Multi-leafs have like leaflet pairs on the ends of the tendril stem things. And then there's also the acacia, which is like a bunch of little leaflet pairs. Um, and they're super small and they go like all the way. So that is the difference between a standard and acacia. Um, the only, I think the only acacia we have is a 299 variety. Um, and that's a darker green. These leaves are kind of dull. They're not shiny and bright green. Um, that's another thing we look for is color. Um, so there's a color difference, four different leaf types, and then there's also um, rabbit ears, and those are just the skinny leaflet pairs. Um, they're skinnier plants. You can, most of the time, you catch them. And then um, when these have pods, they can either be snow or snap peas. So the snow peas are the ones that are flat and you grill up, you know, you saute, whatever. Um, and then the snap peas are the peas that are tasty. You eat the whole pod um, with the peas in it. Okay, so here's an example of those rabbit ears I talked about. You can see how skinny those little leaflet pairs are. Um, just how skinny the plant is overall. Um, so we're just gonna pull that little guy out and I'm pretty sure that's rabbit ears. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but I'm just gonna yank them out anyways. Uh, never heard anything, so. But you can tell on that plant versus like that plant, how skinny those are. So I'm thinking that is what I think it is. All right, here's another example of a rogue. I hope you guys can see it um, right here. It's got that standard leaf, um, that little leaflet pairs poking out. Uh, I saw it from up here. So if you can still see that, here, I'll turn around. See it? So um, I'm roguing a semi-leaf variety right now. So these are all semi-leafs over here. Uh, this is the off type. So we are gonna pull that out, take a picture of it so we know what came out of this variety um, and what we're seeing. So that is a big boy. He was tall too. So height, leaf type, 
not as much color on that one difference um so there you go also side note every time i see one of these little like um growth tips i think of the dinosaurs in jurassic park the ones that like spit acid and kill that one dude i don't know if you guys are familiar with jurassic park but like look at them they're little like not bearded dinosaurs but like i'll find a picture and attach it it just cracks me up all right another comparison i hope the camera picks this up but this is a shinier leafed pea so i pulled this one out on purpose out of that variety over there that i just roped um, but this is what we consider dull, and then this is what we consider shiny. So this is a shiny standard leaf pea, and this is a dull semi-leaf pea. So if they were sitting right there, you could see that, and you pull it out. Um, but that's just something else to know. So this corn buffer row, you can't really see the corn popping up yet. I mean, there's a little baby corn. Um, just as a preventative measure, it's kind of like pre-roguing, um, not really pre-roguing, but preventative. So we plant this corn buffer row right here. That is a different variety than this variety. So when the variety switches, we plant a corn buffer and then, um, that will get taller as we go through the season. Um, and then in August, when we cut these to dry, when they're dried out, they blow around really easy. And since it's windy out here, you can kind of see where we're standing at. There's not a lot of wind breaks. <clears throat> so that corn is gonna help those peas on one side not blow to the other side. So the more measures we can take to prevent seed from um, contaminating with each other, uh, the better, because that means there will hopefully be less rogues um, and it just, you know, there's always human error and there's nature error. I don't know what you call that. Um, so we try to prevent it from the wind as much as we can because uh, dried out pea pods are pretty light and they just blow easy. Last year we had a variety that blew into another variety and I had to walk up and down those rows multiple times before we harvested it to make sure there wasn't like any obvious plants that had blown over. Um, and that was hard, like I'm pretty sure I still missed some and hopefully, well I'm not pretty sure, I just, I don't know, like you have no idea. So you just cross your fingers and hope you did a good enough job the multiple times that you walked through the row. So that's just a little tidbit on preventative measures that we take. Okay, I have one more example for you guys. So I'm roguing a semi-leaf type. Hopefully you remember what that is. It's the one without the leaflet pairs on it. And I just found a different colored semi-leaf um, within the semi-leaf. So I'll show you what's going on. All right, hopefully you can see that. So our rogue is right here. Um, the leaf color is different, so that would be considered dull. Um, this wouldn't be, like, I guess it would be shiny. I wish there was another word that was coming to my mind about this, but I don't qualify that as shiny. I mean, you could, I think. I guess there's no other better word unless I'm missing something, but you can see right there how they're different. Um, hopefully you can see that. This definitely is a rogue. Um, wrote it down. Dull. Semi-leaf. So... Yes, there's another example of how color can determine if it is a rogue or not. All right, that's all I have for roguing. Hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions or um, have a favorite type of leaf type, drop it in the comments or something else that you learned. There will probably be some other videos linked in this side. So if you want to watch those or um, subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks for watching, guys.